Okay, this message might be a reality check for a lot of people. But I do feel like it's my responsibility to talk about these sort of things because I talk to coaches every day. I see what most people do. I see what how most people behave. And I think if you really commit to this episode... This will not only change your business, but it will it will make you become a more confident person in your personal life because of the decisions that you make. Okay. And I want to start off by saying this. Wherever you are right now, whatever circumstance or situation that you're in, you're there because of the decisions that you've made. And let me give you a personal example of this. In 2009, when I had my last job, I hated that job. I despised my boss. <laughs> I hated everything about it. But I need at that point in my life, I needed to go through something like that to understand what I don't want in life. And I was in that job because I put myself in that position to do that job because of the decisions that I made leading up to that point in my life. But I realized that I needed to change that, right? I wasn't going to just settle for that. And looking back on it, I'm glad that I went through that experience. Like that experience taught me a lot. Like there were so many also positives that I learned from that job that helped me in my business later down the road. And now wherever I'm wherever I'm at now is because of the decisions that I've made daily over the past 13 years. And I'm not at the top of the mountain. <laughs> right? I'll never be at the top of the mountain, and I don't think you will either. All right, that's a constant chase. But wherever you are right now, it's because of the decisions that you've made over the last several years. Okay? And I'm not going to hold back on this episode because I talk to people every day and I see the choices that they're making. And it's not up to me to get them to change how they're living it's up to them every like if you're above the age of 22 years old listening to this episode you you're an adult you're you're in control of making decisions and if you're making poor decisions all the time then expect your business to be all over the place expect your business to be <coughs> very difficult to run expect more problems and more challenges ahead business is hard enough even if you're already really disciplined like i i say this with with a lot of certainty but i don't know a lot of people who have more focus and discipline than i do but i've had to learn that over time i was not that way at the beginning i was very far away from that in the beginning And sometimes when I talk to coaches on Zoom, I can just see it. I can see it in the coach's eye that they're not committed to themselves and they're making poor choices. And when I talk about poor choices, here's a list of things that I've seen that I know coaches, coaches that are trying to lead kids, this is what some coaches are doing. All right, and I'm going to be very upfront, and this is going to hit some people in the face, whether you like it or not. And I'm just going to say it. All right, so some coaches, at the end of the day, they're they're going home and they're they're buying a bunch of beer. Like they've had the hardest day in the world. Like like their day it was just the most difficult challenge in the world. So they're just going to go drink the stress away. 
if they're not doing that, then they're going out on Fridays or Saturday nights and they're spending so much money that they could be investing into themselves. And they have formed a routine and a habit with either friends or or they just want to go out and party. And again, if that's how you want to live your life, that's cool. Hey, all, all the power to you. But you can't, you can't make excuses when, when your business isn't growing because of the choices that you're making, right? So co- like coaches that d- decide to continue on their path of drinking and trying to drink the stress away and deal with it that way, that long-term is not going to work. That's going to be a train wreck, all right? That's the first thing I see. The next thing I see is this. It's coaches that get into these car leases. They, they buy a new car, and they're not paying for that car in cash. Like, and I, when I say cash, I mean you can pay for the whole car today. You're not getting into a lease. And some of these coaches will get in these leases where they're spending $500, $700 per month for multiple, multiple years. And again, that's just, it's not a good financial decision to do to yourself. But that's a decision that you're making. All right? The next that I see is, is living be like living above your means. All right? I see this all the time. Like, coaches will try to live in a much nicer apartment than they can actually afford or they'll try to get a bigger home that they can't afford that they can't even pay their mortgage and they're trying to keep up with the big dogs on Instagram and they're trying to impress people that is not going to help you long term all right now why am I telling you this it's because I see this stuff happen all the time with with people that I talk to all the time all the time all right the next mistake I, I know coaches are are doing is they they're trying to be a social media superstar and <clears throat> if you miss that video that I posted it's on my YouTube channel it's called a complete guide how to go from zero to 500 clients it's one of the last things I talk about in that video. And a lot of coaches are so obsessed with themselves. They're so obsessed with the notoriety of, of being liked on Instagram that they're going to do whatever they can to, to pretty up their page to be liked by their peers like other coaches like I see it all the time like co- most coaches and go do this on Instagram you'll see most coaches that post content the people who are commenting are like other coaches and and everyone's trying to like please each other and <clears throat> and be in this like social circle of, of high status and that's probably the quickest way to buying a six pack of, of beer at night is not getting enough likes <laughs> on Instagram. All right. And again, these are choices that coaches make. Another thing I see, it is what time people go to bed. Like there are some coaches I've talked to that they they wake up at random times during the during the week. Now, could you be successful and ha- and have a successful business doing that? Uh, you can. I've seen some people do it, but those people have incredible focus when they wake up in the morning. All right. So that starts with what time do you go to bed? Most people will watch Netflix till two o'clock in the morning, like it's a like it's a forty hour per week job. And again, that's a choice. It's a choice that they're making. All right. And the other thing I see is people who are in credit card debt. And these are people that are making money in their business, 
but they're not paying off their debt. They're not paying off the money that they owe. And it, this, this sounds real simple, but that money compounds every single month. And when you do not pay that off, that gets bigger. And I see people, and I am not kidding when I say this, I see guys that make like 10K a month that have credit card debt. It's absolutely silly. Silly. All right, another mistake I make, or another mistake I see. It's at this point, all right, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. So like right now, there's, <clears throat> there's a bunch of like cryptocurrency stuff, which is great. I like it. Um, but a lot of people, I, I've gotten messages before about this that are like, oh, I bought Bitcoin and and I got scammed. Or, oh, this person told me to do this and I got scammed. I have gotten so many messages like that. It's, it's weird. And, and I've also talked to coaches <clears throat> that are considering like joining my program. And they're like, yeah, I, just, I made a really bad investment and did this thing. And, and I got scammed. I've heard that the scammed word so many times. And here's the thing. It is impossible to get scammed with that stuff if you like actually spend the time and read about what you're buying into. So you can't get scammed if you do your research. But that's the that's the cop out for a lot of people when they're like, "Oh, well, I did this and I got scammed," or "This person told me to did it, do it, and it didn't work out." It's like, why would you why would you treat your money that way? Like the money that you you have, you should be trying to nurture and take care of it. And, and if you're going to invest into something, know what you're doing. Learn about it. Don't just do something because somebody told you to do it. That's a terrible reason to do something. You should take your time and read and learn. Like, go to YouTube and watch videos. Like, <clears throat> and I've seen that a lot. I, I've seen probably over 100 texts, emails, or uh you know, there's conversations that I've had with people who've told me that sort of stuff. And again, they're they're there because of the decisions that they make. Like if someone told me, hey, you should go invest into this thing, do it to like do it this week. Well, if I'm seriously going to consider that, I'm gonna first read about it. Probably then talk to multiple people who've done it, ask them what their experience is like. Then I'm going to read about it even more <laughs> and do a lot of due diligence like I'm part of the CIA when I look at the opportunity. Then I'll go talk to my wife and see if it's a good decision that, that we should make with our finances. And then I'll read about it more and then I'll either pull the trigger and do it or I won't. Right? Most people don't do that. They're just like, oh, I'll, just, I'll go do it. And then they just get, like, get hammered. And it's like that with... It's like that with most choices that coaches make. They're not thinking through things. All right? These are common problems that I see that a lot of people have. And this is the thing is, if you make a lot of money in your business, you'll never outpace the debt that you're in. All right? So if you have credit card debt right now, if it is not your priority to pay that off, then... I don't know what to tell you. Like, if that's not your priority right now, it sh your priority should not be, how can I make 10K this month? Your priority should be, how can I pay off this credit card debt? And how can I get an emergency fund? How can I get six months of savings or 12 months of savings? How can I start allocating money into investments? <clears throat> like, those are things that most coaches don't think about. But if you want to be in this business for a long period of time, you have to start thinking that way. And, and you probably won't learn that from your parents. You probably won't learn that at school. You're, you're not learning that on Instagram. Probably not learning that even through other podcasts. Like, so hopefully that these are some things that you can do. But the choices that you make, they, like the results that you have right now, wherever you're at, whether you're just starting your business and you're excited or you're, you've been in business for years, 
and you feel like you haven't seen the progress that you want or you've seen the progress that you've wanted like you've probably made really good choices so the quality of your choices are going to dictate how successful you are and it starts with the little things this is why it's like the little things in your personal life those are the things that bleed into your business and and your overall success and i know i've said this before so it might sound annoying but i say things i repeat myself a lot because i try to repeat the important things that should be done by the coaches that a i work with and the coaches b that I don't work with that might just listen to my uh, or watch my videos and it's this it's you got to do the little things correctly because when you stack wins daily and you do the little things right you're eating healthy you're taking care of your body you're learning you're not going into debt <laughs> you're making smart financial decisions when you do those sort of things daily you just you are forced to get better and lastly what i'll say is the vast majority of people and just go do your research on this right you don't have to hear it from me go do your research like the vast majority of people are in debt because they're really really bad with spending habits most people have zero control of what they do with their money like that's the facts. Most people have absolutely zero control with what they do with their money. <clears throat> There's people that make $2,000 per month in their training business, but they spend $5,000 per month on stuff. If you don't believe me, then <laughs> if you don't believe me, then you don't believe me. <clears throat> and that's fine. But I see it happen all the time. There's people that make 10 k a month that have 15k a month of expenses going out going to nice restaurants getting in this 700 dollars per month car lease not paying off their credit card debt they have their mortgage in a house that's too big that they don't need like and again the choices that you've made up to this point right that those that has been your decision so you might be listening to this and thinking gosh like shouldn't have done x y or z or like you might be thinking wow i've done a really good job and the good news here and i say this in a lot of my videos is is you can change i can't force you to change but you can change if you want to and i would say the vast majority of people in life would rather just stay where they're at because changing is sometimes too painful because they, they don't want to sacrifice certain things and if you're in debt right now the first priority is to get out of debt and i think the easiest possible way of doing that is literally just selling some crap that you have at your house or your apartment that you don't need and if you're not willing to do that then like you're going to be in debt a lot longer or if you're like in a lot of debt, like beyond 10 to 20K, well, maybe you should start going to train a ton of kids over the next couple of months and allocate the majority of that money to pay off the debt. And I know there's a lot of information out there about how like debt is good and like there's, there's different types of debt. Like credit card debt is not one of those things that is good unless you can pay like like I, my wife and i we have credit cards but guess what there has never been a month since we've been married where that has not been paid in full we don't have a like this balance that carries over to the next month we don't have multiple cards where we're like putting different charges on no like that's the fastest way to go broke is by not paying off what you owe and that's the thing is uh, most coaches don't look at it that way they're like well you know i'm investing into my business with with this debt and i get that i understand that there there, there might be a big upfront expense if you're gonna like buy a gym or or i don't know like 
make certain changes in your business. I understand that. But you should be at a point where you're financially mature enough to look at things and be like, all right, well, if I'm going to, like, for example, if I'm going to invest $5,000 tomorrow, I'm thinking about when is that going to be paid off within the next 30 days. So that's not going to be carried over in the following month. The vast majority of people don't think that way. And I'm not saying, like, when I say that, I'm not saying that I'm an elite thinker, right? I'm, I'm not saying that. But I'm just telling you the truth. Like, money money is one of those things that if, if, you, if you, like, pay attention to it, if you pay attention to the choices that you make, and this is why I, I had another episode where I talk about looking at your bank statement. Like, your bank statement doesn't lie. It, it's visual proof of how irresponsible you are with your money. All right. And I do like, there are some coaches who are like, yeah, I just, you know, I want to start a business, but I just don't, I don't have the money to start. I think that is one of the most corrupt mindsets I've ever heard in my life. Right. Money is all around you. Like, you there's and there's many different ways to be resourceful, <clears throat> even if you have no money. Right. <clears throat> so again, that's one of those things that th those are choices. Or I don't have money to invest in myself. Well, well, you might not because you might have made some bad personal choices. Or maybe you're not willing to sacrifice some of those things to get the larger re reward. But again, some people are not willing to change because what they're currently doing is comfortable enough, even if they're in debt. Like, I mean, go look around. Go look around you. Most people have financial problems. And then the worst part is those people are trying to give you advice on how to live your life and I don't like to try to give advice on what you should do day to day and what you should believe in and like I have a lot of information over the past five six years that I've shared on this podcast a lot of it is personal stuff that I feel like can help but at the end of the day like I'm not your babysitter I'm not I'm not blowing an air horn in your ear at 5 a.m. when I wake up trying to get you to work as hard as me like no like, no one does that to me. Well, why should I do that to you? So last, lastly, it's, it's really just the decisions that you've made to this point are why you are where you are. And if you want to change that, then it just starts with tomorrow just doing one little thing different. If that's making your bed, if it's, waking up five minutes earlier or if it's setting alarm to go to sleep if it's turning off the phone at 6 p.m like whatever it is you're not going to have this transformation overnight and that's what a lot of people sell they, they sell this overnight transformation that when you do this is your life's going to be different tomorrow morning and that's not the case I'm still learning a lot. I'm still trying to grow. I'm still trying to improve in a lot of different areas. But that happens through a daily process of just being committed to trying to make good decisions. All right. I hope this helps. And if you're a coach who's serious and committed and you're like, man, I know I am capable of making these changes and I know I want to have a better foundation with my business and I want it to really grow in the future, message me. Send me a text at 210-960-5771. I'd be happy to chat with you. And I will tell you, like at this point, like I talk to coaches every single day. I'm happy to talk to you if I've never spoken to you before. Like if we've never talked, reach out to me. Um, I do respond to every single text message. I do res like I don't hide from people. And if if I did, I would never give up my number. 
right? Keep that in mind. I, I have my number posted to, at this point, probably over 400 YouTube channels, or sorry, YouTube videos, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> I don't hide from people. So if you want to chat, reach out to me. And uh, thanks for listening to this episode. I hope this helps. And again, we're like, I want you to remember this. Where you are now is the decisions you made. Where you are this time next year is the decisions you've made. So between now and next year, it's up to you to make some changes. That's it. See you later.